all right hey what's going on guys how do you do it's your boy gray here welcome back to the channel man in today's video i thought we'd do a little something different a little something something fun uh it's a sunday so why not do something fun if you guys are watching this when i upload it it is on a sunday uh if you guys are brand new subscribe to the channel turn on notifications drop a like normally i do upload a lot of call of duty content tips and tricks uh update videos news videos best class setups and all that good stuff but today i thought we'd do something a little different we do a little bit of a story time video today i wanted to share with you guys i wanted to share a little bit of a story time here with you guys of my first and only experience dating a gamer girl so if you guys are brand new subscribe to the channel turn on notifications and drop a like all that good stuff let's see if we get today's video I'm gonna say I'm gonna set it to 70 I'm gonna I'm gonna say 70 let's set a goal for 70 likes on today's video all right so this story goes back to my first year in college my first year uh, at college here and this was before I met Ruby uh, so I was I was basically just you know just a freshman in college and you know just trying to make friends um, there was around the corner from our, our school our college uh, there was a circuit city I'm kinda dating myself here but there was a circuit city uh, around the corner from the school and what I would do is in between my classes whenever I had like a, an hour break or half hour hour and a half two hour break or whatever in between classes I would go into Circuit City uh, there was like a bunch of there was a group of us gamers who just uh, boys girl uh, guys girls who who met up in Circuit City and there was a big display there was a big section in Circuit City for the game Rock Band, they had the uh, they had the drum set, the guitar, the bass, the the mic, and everything, and we would all just hang out there, literally in between in between classes or after classes or whatever. We would just all go there and just play songs and play some games together and talk and whatever and hang out, whatever it is. And uh, that was kind of like the place for my freshman year. That was kind of like the place where I used to like to chill and hang out with people. So the way I met this gamer girl was actually at Circuit City, and on this day I was actually by myself. So after class. I had some time to kill and I ended up going to Circuit City. Unfortunately, none of my friends were there. None of the people that I hung out with were there. But there was one girl uh, playing the drums. So she was there. I've kind of put this girl out of my mind for the longest time. And when we get to the end of the story here, you guys are going to see why. Anyways, man, this girl, Jessica, she was playing some rock band on the drums. And I happened to go go up to the uh, area where the, the whole thing was set up. And I was like, hey, you mind if I, you know, jump on the guitar and play, play a couple of songs with you? She's like, yeah, of course. We ended up playing for about 40, almost an hour. We ended up playing for almost an hour, just nonstop, just played song after song after song, talking to each other, uh, getting to know each other and stuff like that. And before she left, uh, she had to go. I was still, I still had some time to kill. She had to go. Uh, before she left though, I kind of played it a little cool. And I was like, hey, you know, I have this game at home. Um, and then she's like, yeah, me too. And I was like, oh, so do you want to exchange PlayStation IDs? I, I'm on PlayStation. She's like, yeah, I'm on PlayStation too. So that's kind of the initial area where we started talking. We started talking by playing uh, on PlayStation uh, when, when, you know, once we got home and stuff. So two, three days passed where we, me and her, we would just, after school or whatever, we would go, we would go, we would be home or whatever it is. And we would just be on PlayStation playing different games, mainly playing like Rock Band and stuff like that, fun games, uh, and just talking with our headset on and stuff. And it got to a point where I was like, yo, like, well, you know, maybe we should just go hang out outside of doing this. And she, she was down. Uh, she, she would always be in the city and I would always be in the city. So it kind of just worked out where we would always hang out all the time. And, and from there is kind of like where the whole dating and relationship start stuff happen relationship and sarcastic quotation marks here and you know looking back on everything right now looking back on this shit i should have known from the start where this shit was heading man i should have known because <laughs> so i should have known where this was going man because her playstation id it was something like it was something on like or i don't remember exactly what it was but i remember it had three words in it that i should have been i, I should have seen that and i should have been like wait a second i think it was something like chaotic underground de demon girl or something like that it was like chaotic underground demon girl if i remember correctly and thinking back that that was definitely sign number one right there man a little backstory for for me before we continue on here a little backstory you know growing up i never uh, up until this point i had never dated a girl who was into video games and it was always something that i thought was never i, I never growing up i never really knew girls that played video games on a consistent and dedicated basis, you know what I mean? Like I knew girls would be like, hey, you're playing video games, we can play with you, whatever, at parties or whatever, but like to go home after work and to grind a game and stuff like that, I never knew that. 
uh, you know, back then. So, so this was definitely a first for me. And, and I had always dreamed about like, man, I, what if I dated a girl who was passionate about gaming and we could just be together playing video games all day and it would just be the coolest thing. Man, like this one experience, I don't know, man. I, uh, here we go. I'm going to continue with the story. So I'm going to fast forward a little bit here to probably a week and a half after everything, you know, after, after that last point that I made there a week and a half into everything, you know, we've, we've gone through the whole, you know, dating, we've gone through the whole, you know, hanging out at each other's places. We've gone through the whole, uh, you know, seeing each other after school or whatever. And you know, you guys, if you're an adult, you know what couples like to do. I don't want to get too detailed with it, but a lot of the stuff that couples do, we were already, you know, whatever, that, that, that ship has sailed. We're pretty comfortable with each other. I, up until that point, there was no, we hadn't had a, like any issues, no fights or anything like that. It was nothing, you know, nothing that I saw that I thought I should have seen coming where uh, we were fine. Like there was no, we weren't fighting and no fights, no nothing. We were getting along very well, getting to know each other in the process and stuff. Uh, we were in a whole, you know, early, early relationship stage where it's like, you know, it's, it's cute to send texts and stuff and to sext each other and whatever. Uh, it, it was, it was like the norm. So I'm going to fast forward it to basically, I'm going to fast forward it from that point forward. I'm going to fast forward it to the day when it just, when it went down and and it was over uh so you know up in, like this day this happened this must have been like uh like i said like two and a half weeks into us dating so i was i believe if i remember it was a saturday because i was home and if i was home it was it, me it meant that I, it was a saturday i wasn't working at the time so it, i was home uh i was playing i was i was home alone my parents weren't home because i was still living with my parents uh my parents weren't home my, my family wasn't home. i was just home alone enjoying my saturday i was probably like eating pizza or whatever playing video games in my living room and uh you know we were we were talking to each other throughout the day she she worked so she was at work and we were kind of just talking to each other and saying hey what do you want to do after work uh do you want to come hang out and we kind of made plans where she would come over and we would hang out um at this point in the relationship stage we were you know it, it, we would send each other provocative photos and stuff so i had a bunch of stuff like that throughout the day while she was at work we would send each other <laughs> I don't want to get too vulgar with it. We would just send each other uh, naughty texts, uh, sexting in a sense, um, talking about what do you want to do to me? What do you what like what what do I want to do to her and stuff like that? You guys get the gist. So we got to the point in the texting where I I was like, so when you get here, um, what do you want to do? She had we had already gone over what I wanted to do, and she was, and I was like, what do you want to do? And this is where the entire story just goes left field. It just... <laughs> oh, and by the way, I had already told this story a while back during a live stream. So I don't remember what, I don't remember when it was. I remember it was during World War II. I had already told this story live and it was just the funniest reaction from you guys. Uh, so for those of you who have heard this story before, I hope you enjoy hearing it again. For those of you hearing it for the first time, here we go. I was home alone, I was playing. I asked her, what do you want to do when you get here? And she replied god she replied i want to cut your dick off and watch the blood drip into a bottle <laughs> if you could imagine young gray being home alone getting a text like that and just being so terrified <laughs> extremely left field like up until that point nothing in that you know whatever in that little relationship that we had nothing up until that point had any signs aside from her playstation name had any signs of like i should have seen that coming it was just the most random and most left field and most disturbing thing i have ever gotten in text so my immediate reaction was i literally got up I got up from my seat and I, went, I ran to the door and I locked the door. I, I did like all four locks. I just locked every single lock. I just made sure the door was locked. And I texted her back, what the, what the F is wrong with you? Are you crazy? I told her straight up that that was like the craziest and most disturbing thing and like the unsexiest thing in the world to say to to me she kind of replied in the sense of like no i was just kidding don't take it serious i was just joking around 
And I'm like, no, no, that's that's not a joke. We don't we don't joke about that. That's that's the that's crazy talk right there. Like you're you're really talking crazy right now. Anyways, man, after that after that text, it was just it was done so man. Like I just I did not I did not feel comfortable being with her anymore or being in that in that relationship anymore and once again sarcastic relation sarcastic qu uh, quotations around relationship um being or being with that so i kind of immediately i was like look uh this i'm i'm done like you completely threw me off that came out of nowhere it's extremely random um i really don't want anything to do with you i don't want to talk to you i don't want to see you anymore we're we're done and then like her her biggest thing mind you she wasn't even like she wasn't even like trying to argue it she was just like well i want you to delete my nudes and i'm like yo they all they're gone trust me they're gone and that was about it man and then like after that i never i never heard from her again after that like i literally just never saw her again never heard from her again uh deleted her off my phone deleted all her pictures i'm a man of my word i'm a very respectful guy when it comes to stuff like that when it comes to private things like that um i never once shared anything with anybody that's that's private between two people like uh so i deleted everything as she requested didn't save anything like it was just gone man and i just i just didn't want i didn't want to do anything i don't want anything to do with her and you know i'd just i'd just respect to my fiance right now just want to say like that's that's the one time that i had ever dated a girl like her every other girl was completely different in every way shape and form like i said like she was a special case in the sense that she was a gamer girl and i never dated a gamer girl i never dated a girl who was as open or as you know like as stuff like the, what we were into like at the time that was that was a special case so yeah guys that was the text there man that was the text that completely threw me off man i want to cut your off and watch the blood pour into a bottle the thing that bother the thing that bothers me <laughs> more than the cutting part is where did the bottle come from what what bottle is this like what is this oh boy but yeah man guys thank you so much for watching today's video man i just wanted to share that little bit of a story time with you my one and only experience in my entire life dating a gamer girl or a girl who likes who's like really dedicated and really into video games like on a, on a passionate level um so <laughs> oh my god uh anyways man guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the gameplay that was in the background i, I made sure to, to get some uh, gameplay footage of uh, some multiplayer match that i had i uh, hope you enjoyed the gameplay that was in the background once again if you guys are brand new to the channel uh don't forget to subscribe make sure to turn on notifications and drop a like and i would love i would love to hear your feedback your comments your questions your concerns your anything I know, I know you guys are gonna have a field day. I know you guys are gonna have a field day, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I do this for entertainment purposes, and I just want, I'm, I'm transparent, man. I am completely transparent. I have been nothing but 100% honest with you guys since day one, and I will continue to do, do, I will continue to do so moving forward. So, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Hope you enjoyed the story time here, and uh, let me know if you guys want to hear any other stories. I got a lot of crazy stories, man. I will, I will be more than happy on a Sunday or something like that, or on a slow day where there, there's not a lot going in Call of Duty or any other games. I will be happy to share more of my stories with you guys. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'm a back out of here. Till the next one. My name is Gray. Peace.